Hey guys, today we are going to talk about two cards, a little longer video, and the two cards will be Cough of the Hammer and Statecraft. So I will begin with the Planeswalker. Things I like about it, it's a mythic, it's from an older set, Scars of Meriden, as the Fastlands. I think Copperline Gorge is around $10, $12 now, as the Fastlands from that period will show you cards, even non-mythics, can hold above $10 prices, mainly because there's just not that many of them compared to today. They really overprinted over Eldritch Moon, Gatewatch, Conspiracy 2, possibly Eternal Masters, we will see a little later, uh, Gatewatch, Zendikar, back to Zendikar, and these print runs, they don't make public, but I would imagine are two times to three times to even four times the print run of older sets like original Innistrad. So, Scars of Meriden was a very fun set. It was very good, but this card was not played even in Standard that often. This card was not played in Modern until recently in Scred Red, and its price spike is correlated to the fact that there's not that many of them, although there was a dual deck I believe it's Adventure versus Cough. So there is a dual deck prom promo of this card, which, you know, it's interesting to know. So we have a $19 card that was reprinted in a dual deck from an older set that's being played in a Friends. I know Scred Red won a tournament, but still. Next, we'll talk about Statecraft. It is a $10 card now. This card we examined when it was $2. When it went from $0.40 cents to $2, I thought it was kind of funny. Now it is at $10. So when you talk about cards that are ed playable and kind of it costs 4 typically when you cost 4 it's not modern legal. Typically when you cost 4 you're not going to be playable in legacy because it there's another planeswalker that costs four that does a lot more than this card so when you talk about EDH and you talk about combos and cards that have the potential they have to be from older sets you're not going to speculate on a card from Aldrich Moon right that's not going to work because there's too many of it even if it is a mythic but Kadian Mass strikes me as a very powerful set with a lot of valuable um, valuable cards in it which could spike in price due to EDH and I like the artwork in this card I think that artwork does have a minor effect on it but largely it's because there's just not that many copies of this card so someone can buy the card out as we've seen with the Lion's Eye Diamond you can artificially inflate the price for some period of time before it hits its new balance price which is what it is that's just MTZ Finance for you in a nutshell. So, Cough I like a lot because he is a Planeswalker, and anytime you can get Planeswalkers for under $5, take a very good look at it. Statecraft is the more interesting one of the two because it shows me that the card does not need to be very good. The card does not need to be very you know, powerful. All the card needs to be is not common meaning it has to be an older set so when you're looking at speculation opportunities mtg finance opportunities you have to look at mccadian mask or odor that is my personal opinion and the it's probably reserve list cards are always a little much safer but that safeness is calculated the it, it's a calculator safeness where Yes, people know that card is in a reserve list, and people know that they attribute more value to it. Something like Statecraft is not calculated. It's not on a reserve list. Therefore, it can spike up even higher in price because the added bonus of being on a reserve list is not included in its initial assessment of the price. Anyway, that's it. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.